Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, 5th of July, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down near the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, 4th of July was basically today, and um, the stock market was basically not open, so there was not a lot of activity. However, if we look at the overall trend of this market, we are definitely in a bear market. And the question is just how far does this market go before before it turns around? And it may not just may not turn around until basically central banks um, change their monetary policy um, and to start basically supporting the market again. And that is not going to be anytime soon. They have not just started increasing interest rates and uh, they haven't even started with quantitative easing. Um, so we will look at where we most likely will find resistant, where we'll find based and may find support in this market at this current stage. So 20 simple moving average is right here at the 11.7K. We have the 50 moving average right here at 12.1K. And all the way up here, we have the 200 moving average at 14.3K. So 20, 50, 200, all of them have proven to uh, be resistant um, when we have rallied to those points. We see the 200 tested here, we see the 20 getting tested here, 50 getting tested here, 50 yet again, and so on. So going forward, we may see the 20 simple moving in this direction, 50 moving in this direction, and the 200 moving in this direction. So. If we look at technical English, we can see that MACD is still uh, is bullish at this point, but in negative territory. Stochastic is flat and RSI is flat. flat. Well, that will allow the increasing downside and the upside. So we, we could see rally up towards the 20, 50, or in best case scenario, 200. Um, and we basically also can see this market drop to the downside. If we rally to the 20, it's just a sm um, uh, very, very short rally, and then we drop. 50 we rally and drop and in probably best case scenario we rally up towards the 200 before we drop we will occasionally see uh, these major rallies here and then uh, drop even further uh, they do okay they do happen in bear markets uh, quite frequently and they happen very violently so it looks like things are turning around and all of a sudden they, they the market just takes your head off if we break below the lows of this was back in in uh, in June, mid June, uh, roughly 10.9k. Then we are going significantly lower. If we look at the Fibonacci retracements for uh, this market, we can get take the very lows here to the highs. We can see that we are at 61.8 is down here at 10.5. That's probably uh, where we'll find major support, and we have one of these rallies. We can see that we broke through the 50 Fibonacci retracement uh, and we have also broken through the 38.2 uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement. So 10.5k, uh, 10.6k, that is probably where we'll uh, test the major support. After that, it is the highest prior to the coronavirus uh, back into 2020 at 9.7k. So let's look at um, the at the uh, S&P 500, and as you can see, we did rally, started rallying quite a bit here when the, the market opened. It's up in the 0.24%. It is getting fairly close to the 20 simple moving average, 50 moving average is right above, and the 200 moving average. All of them have proven to be uh, proven to be uh, resistant levels in the past. We did see this major rally here above the 200 moving average, broke down, tested the 200 again, again got rejected, rejected tested, tested the 20 simple moving average, got rejected, and so on. So these three uh, moving averages have been uh, major resistant barriers in, in the last few months, and they will most likely uh, do the same thing going forward. So heading the 50 moving average will break down, 20 moving average will break down, and it's not until basically central banks basically change their monetary policy and economic conditions will turn around that we'll basically see this market turning out, turn around yet again. So if you look at technical English, we can see the MACD is a bullish, sarcastic is flat at this point, and the RSI is flat as, uh, as well, and there's a lot of room to the upside and the downside. If we rally up 
towards the 20th Sepulveda Garage, where we are at this moment, we could get rejected. If we break above there, then the 50 moving average will most likely come into play. And in the best case scenario, the 200 moving average yeah, yet again. If we break below the lows here of 3,636, 3, then we may see this market tumble even further to the downside. Probably at this point, the lows will be down here at the um, 3,383, which, uh, um, which is basically the highs here before the crash into 2020. So let's look at the Dow Jones. We can see that we have rallied up towards the 20 simple moving average. And also here, 20 simple has been uh, ma been major resistant in the past. So has the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. Tested the 200 moving average twice here, got rejected. 50 got rejected, 20, 50, and then 20 twice now. So question is whether or not we break above here, head towards the 50 or we basically break above the 50 and go for a major rally up towards the 200 moving average. 50 moving average will most likely move in this direction, 200 will most likely move in this direction. And uh, at this current stage is the question whether or not we get rejected here at the 20 simple moving average. If we do so, break below the lows here of a 29.3k, uh, 29 then we may see this market drop significantly lower. We are not that far off the highs here before the coronavirus. That is roughly at 29.4K. So that is our next barrier. Break below that, well, then we are looking at significantly lower levels. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at European markets. They are. Uh, the outlook for European economy, especially the German economy, is not looking very good at all. So if the German economy um, goes into recession, which is most likely is at this current stage, and then Europe is definitely going into recession. So ECB hasn't even started uh, increasing interest rates yet, and they have not. They have cut back on their quantitative easing, or have basically said they're going to cut back on their quantitative easing. But this just looks terrible. So we have a double top here, and then we have basically a double bottom here. So we may see this market rally up towards the 20 simple moving average. But going forward for the European market, especially when it comes to energy, it does definitely not look good. So we may see a major crisis um, in the European economy going forward, especially when it comes to winter, there will be uh, definitely a major energy crisis. But we also may see this market rally significantly, considering this move. Afterwards, the 20 simple moving average is right here, or the 50 moving average, or even the 200 moving average. If the 200 moving average, we, if we tested that, then we will basically have this double top here that we will basically test. I don't really see this market going past the 200 moving average, but we may see uh, a major rally going forward as the market is fairly low at this current stage. If you look at the MACD, it's still bearish, stochastic is also bearish, and the RSI is only at 33, so it's very low. So we may definitely see a rally before we tumble. I just don't have any real optimism for uh, the DAX whatsoever at this current stage. So if we look at the volatility index, we can see that we are at 28.83 at this current stage, and we're trading just below the 50 moving average. If we break below this candlestick here at 26.96, then we may drop towards the 200 moving average, which is moving in this direction, and then the 50 moving average will most likely move in this direction. Breaking above the 50 moving average, then we may test at this top yet again, an area which has proven to be a major resistant barrier of roughly 32 uh, towards a 30, 34. A breaking below here, we'll mostly find major support at the 200 moving average before going higher. So we have just bounced off the 200 moving average several times in the past and it is slowly going higher and higher. Even though it doesn't look like it, it is a definitely uh, uptrend line 
with you know, with a very um, minor s slope to be said. If you look at the technical leadership, we can see the MACD is still bearish at this point. Stochastic is about to turn around to become bullish, and the RSI is flat. So not a lot of help there from the technical indicators. If we look at the 10 year, we can see that it basically fell off a cliff um, on, um, and this was basically on Friday session. So there is a barrier here that we will most likely test or be major support if we get to that point. There was basically a major rally at the end of the session, but breaking below here, that could open the door to the 200 moving average. This market just got completely um, overstretched fell and dropped below the 50 moving average. I was expecting a uh, bounce from here, but as we broke below the 50 moving average, it just went significantly lower. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is becoming is turning around here, still in negative territory, and the RSI is bearish as well, and now not, not a lot of room to the downside. So we may see this market go back and forward, uh, going forward, um, but this should be a massive, support level if this basically breaks then this should the bottom should break for uh, this market definitely to the upside this should be the very top uh, roughly uh, five point uh, three point uh, three point five it should be the very highest so and break above that and then this market will go significantly higher so hope you find this helpful you want to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much